tomorrow, I'm going to fail a test. I'm happy about it. I invite you to join me in this failure. Let me explain. It's time for me to recertify my Alteryx Advanced Certification. It's been two years. It expires in August. Tomorrow's June 1st. My plan to recertify is that June 1st, I'm going to fail that test. No problem. The test is free. You can fail it as many times as you want. June 30th, I'm going to pass the test. And I hope to bring as many people along with me as I can. Now, between June 1st and June 30th, there's 28 days, 2nd to the 29th. That has a nice symmetry to it. That's four weeks. I've taken the training required to pass that test, and I've chopped it up into four blocks. So that's my plan. Now, here it is all written out. Doesn't look like much. In fact, uh, was it uh, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy might say at best it's 12% of a plan. But that's plenty. Before I dig into the plan, let me address, I wouldn't call it an elephant in the room. I'm really the only person that knows about it. Yes, I work for Alteryx. Yes, I teach for Alteryx. Yes, I teach these subjects for Alteryx. I invite as many of you to follow this free program on my social media channel as would like to join. You will not get any inside information from me as an Alteryx employee. I will not use any Alteryx products to teach this course on YouTube. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way. I also have no insight into the test. In fact, the best thing I usually do is annoy the ladies that design and write the tests by constantly asking them for advanced looks at tests they're working on or knowing what tests are coming up next. They tell me nothing. In fact, any of you would probably have more luck with them. I'm pretty much their worst enemy at this point. So. You will get nothing out of me as an Alteryx employee. I am doing this content as an Alteryx fan, just so we're clear. So the agenda, such as it is, is this. June 1st, fail test. June 30th, pass test. 2nd to the 29th, four weeks of study. How have I broken that down? That first week is going to be what's called advanced data prep. Now, if you look at the, the study plan on the Alteryx community, which we'll look at together, Advanced data prep includes regex. I'm going to pull regex out of that to sort of load manage, if, if you will, if you're a basketball fan. So advanced data prep minus regex, that's week number one. Week number two is going to be reporting and spatial. Those are super important because they're niche subjects that don't get a lot of love. A lot of people don't use them, and so they tend to stumble on the test because of those subjects. So we, we need a whole week to work on that. Week three is going to be data sources and regex. Regex can be a challenging subject. I love teaching it because it's something that I used to sort of hate and fear. And now I've gotten over that because I have to teach it quite often. So favorite subject of mine, let's do it together. Week four is going to be apps and macros. Uh, again, it's a subject that a lot of people have a little trepidation about. They, they can be challenging. I feel like I can teach them effectively. Now, that's the structure. Everything other than that is kind of up to interpretation. Why do I think this setup is important? Well, I didn't bring my ultra learning book out here, but if you've joined me on any of my other challenges, you know that I'm a big proponent of ultra learning and I love 30 day challenges. Why? Because 30 days is manageable. First of all, 30 days is enough to kind of burn something into your brain to learn those lessons long term but also to, to have it be something where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're not committing to hours of study a day forever. It's not a year. It's not some five-year plan. You have a tangible goal. In 30 days, I want to learn this subject in order to pass this certification, and then it's something that I can use going forward. It's a tool in your toolbox. I like that setup personally just because... People can work towards that. Anybody can burn hot for 30 days. Now, I'm stacking up a lot in June because not only am I doing this challenge, so keep in mind, if y'all are participating, you're just studying. 
all you've got to do is receive the guidance that I give and work on it yourself, learn it yourself. I've also got to create content. So, you know, tough for me. I'm also going to be doing a 30 day live hard challenge during June, which means I won't be drinking any alcohol, but I'll be trying to adhere to a diet as well as doing extra exercise. So that to look forward to. Big month for me. Um, but here's my commitment and that's the next topic I want to address. What is the commitment that I demand of myself during this 30 days? And what am I asking of you, the participants of myself? I'm going to ask one hour of study slash content creation per day. Every day I intend to get up, I intend to spend 30 minutes in the morning studying, looking over kind of the plan of the day, and then 30 minutes at the end of the day, either recapping, doing some more studies, some more work, maybe a weekly challenge, or working on content creation. So I learn through teaching you. What I ask of you and what I think will be required if you have a basis in Alteryx to get the certification, it's going to be a little bit more. I think that you need to commit 90 minutes a day for 30 days in order to learn this, to hammer home these lessons and be able to pass that test. Now we're going to be naturally efficient because of the reasons that you'll learn if you read the book Ultra Learning, highly recommend it. We're going to be very efficient because we're going to fail the test at the start. We're going to identify all of the things that we don't know in order to be able to focus on them. And I think that's very important, but it's important that you give that commitment. Hey, I can burn hot for 30 days and I can give 90 minutes a day. That sort of overt commitment is, is a good thing. Let's talk about what kind of content I'm going to commit to. What can you expect to see? Well, if you watch the 30 day challenge for the core certification, it's going to be similar to that. I want to improve certain things. I want to up the video quality. Obviously this one, notwithstanding, this is kind of uh, an audible here. I want to get better at my YouTube game through this. I want to get better at my community engagement game and, and cultivating a, a community of followers through this. Um, what else? Every week I want to do a live event. That's something that I've been sort of sporadic with throughout this content creation journey, the development of my, of my YouTube channel. I really want to do that regardless of if anybody shows up. I want to put four live events on the calendar and maybe like an after party like we did with Core and just sort of celebrate the journey, talk about the learning that we're doing. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter if, an, if nobody shows up. I know that I've got a few hardcore friends and followers that are going to show up regardless. They'll, they'll be there for whatever I create. But I'd really like to have people actually follow this challenge and join in and have that be a part of it, a, a live event, whether that's a LinkedIn live or a YouTube live or TikTok, who knows. But I, I want to commit to that. And I want that to be a regular thing that people look forward to and that people can rely on. You can show up, you can ask me questions. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but we're going to do that. As far as the content throughout the week, I'm going to talk about going through the, the learning path, which is free on the Alteryx community. I will talk about, we, we will conduct weekly challenges. I've looked at the list of weekly challenges recommended for this learning. Most of them I have not done, so this will be learning and achievement for me as well as you. But we'll, we'll do some of the similar, same content that we did for the core certification and for the Tableau certification. Um, and I think that's a good model. I don't know how many videos per week, three, four, who knows. But uh, definitely want to kind of up the social media game with this thing and, and get some people involved. Next topic is why. Why am I doing this? I've been listening to a lot of motivational material lately, really looking at finding my purpose. There were a lot of lessons learned that I talked about from Inspire and from professional things that I've done recently. Mistakes that I've made on social media, not like 
you know, saying the wrong thing, but just content that fell flat and then evaluating why it did and, and what happened. The common thread that I've found is I've got to convey value. If you want to be out there and if you want people to listen to you and follow you and do whatever, you have to give them value. It's true in a business. It's true in social media account. Whatever you do, you, you need to provide value for people to have them follow you and, and, and want what you're want to pick up what you're putting down, as The Rock would say. That's a lesson that I've learned. It's something that I'm trying to internalize and move forward with. But with this, I want to convey value. With every video, I want to tell you what's the value there. Overall, especially tomorrow when I fail this test, I want to tell you what's the value of certification in general. Bottom line, I see a lot of people getting into data or in the data realm that are struggling to find jobs. And I review their resumes. I look at them. They don't have certification. They've done lots of projects, internships, all that sort of stuff, but there's no, nothing to certify that they know what they're talking about. Anybody can write anything on a resume. You can't just go buy these certifications. You have to earn them, especially all tricks. I can attest to that. So what's the value of each thing? When I teach you a lesson, if I teach you about advanced data prep, what's the value of that? What, why do you need to know how to do a multi-row or multi-field formula? What is the advantage of using a macro over a regular workflow? That's my focus going forward. I want to present every piece of information with that as my going in proposition. What is the value of this to the listener? The last thing that I'd like to talk about is who is this for? Now that I've said that this, you know, this is the value that I'm going to talk about value, Who's my target audience? And I feel that may have been missing from the instruction on Alteryx Core. I think everybody knows the value of Tableau. Who should be trying to get an Alteryx Advanced Certification? It's really the entry level and sort of mid intermediate level data analysts. Maybe it's someone pivoting into analytics. Maybe you've had a few kind of analytics adjacent jobs. You're a math teacher, get a lot of those. You did some job somewhere where you're working with numbers and you thought, man, I really like this. I'd like to formalize this. We get a lot of those as well. But really it's people looking to carve out a niche in their data career. So you get known for something in data. You get known for expertise in some platform. I see a lot of people out there that are kind of multi-tool specialists and their resumes are stacked with 15 different skills and the waters get a little bit muddy. When you say I know 12 different programming languages, the immediate question is, well, how well do you know any of them? When you say I'm great at Tableau, Power BI, uh, Alteryx, ClickSense, Databricks, the immediate question is how well? It's hard to be good at any one thing, let alone two things. Most of us are usually pretty good at two or three technical platforms, and we're kind of competent at a handful more if we're lucky. So who should be aiming for an Alteryx Advanced Certification? People that are in business intelligence, data analytics, business analytics, whatever flavor you're in, just entry and mid-level type people and that's who I serve because basically that's who I am. I've been in analytics for less than three years now and I'm still carving out my career those are the people that I like to speak to so bottom line for the next 30 days starting tomorrow starting tomorrow with this epic failure I'm about to knock out I ask you to join me I feel like this is important I hope you can see why it's important. And I hope that this is a guiding light to people that kind of come knocking on my door figuratively every day and saying, I don't know the way forward in my career. Well, the part of the way forward is probably showing some value, showing some learning and some accomplishment and the skills that are going to transfer into a job. If that's a certification with a business intelligence platform like Alteryx, 
I believe I can help with that. Now, I'm committing 30 days to this and obviously several other challenges. I ask for you, young analysts, entry and mid-level data professionals, give me 30 days, commit 90 minutes per day, and we'll get you to a certification that can help you earn that first, second job, that promotion, provide you some value. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.